All right, everyone, it's time for What's the Buzz? And fresh off of Mother's Day, we are talking about kids and their parents, specifically adult kids coming back home to live with their parents, good old mom and dad. And talking us to us today are Kim Trent, a writer and regent with Wayne State University, Blaine Fowler, the host of the Blaine Fowler Morning Show on 96.3 WDVD, and Marlon Page, a technology strategist and founder of Sisters Code. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. This is always an interesting topic yeah. when adult children <laughs> <laughs> come home to live with their parents during or after college or you know d do the rules change that's what I want to know with adult children do they have to follow set rules up by the parents or can they do their own thing I think I know the answer <laughs> to many of these <laughs> all right who wants to chime in the debate? Debate. go ahead um, for us it, it, there really weren't any rules per se just common courtesy. If you're gonna go someplace, if you're gonna be someplace, let us know. Let us know in advance. I don't wanna find out while you're there. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as how late you're staying out and who, there, there's not bring, you're not bringing anyone home. That's oh. not happening. <laughs> um, and, but you're welcome to stay out till one or two if necessary. But mm -hmm. you know, all Just don't overdo reason. it, don't push it. Just don't, you got a good thing going here. Yeah, no, listen. You know? well, that, that's my next question. What about paying rent? Should kids have to, if they're coming well, back Well, you home, should mention this. Oh, really? Oh. Well, I mean, now my kids are not, my kids are, well, my, my daughter just graduated okay. college this weekend. And oh, congrats. Yeah, thank yes. you. Yeah. Congrats. 3.899 <laughs> She landed a job. Amazing! Yes. Uh, <laughs> so very, very proud dad this okay, morning. Okay, that's amazing. Um, so if she came home for three months, is she paying rent? No. No, okay. Okay. Marlon? I agree. If they come home and they have done what they're supposed to do in college, yep. mm -hmm. then you don't have to pay rent. If not, then yes. Okay. <laughs> Kim? I wish my son could pay rent now. He's on the I know, that's right. <laughs> nine years old paying rent. Well, it's funny because I know Charge, that. You know, Charge the nine year old. See what happens. Listen, I knew of, of a family where the parents were like, no, no, you're not going to pay any rent here because I don't want you to think you have any authority up in here. Well, that's like, true. what we say still goes. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, when you go out and get your own place, you do what you want to do. Right, because if they're paying rent, then they think they have more say. freedom. They're oh, like, I'm not going home at midnight. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. My exactly. mom always used to say, you know, I don't. when I came home, I don't want you to be comfortable here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, yes. you cannot be comfortable. That's you are here strategy. for a set amount of time. Yeah. If you get comfortable, you will not leave. That's true. That's okay, true. So I've got a question, way. though. Okay. I, I get it. There's like a buffer period between college graduation mm -hmm. and then getting that first job, mm -hmm. having enough money. But what about significant others? Because now you've got a boyfriend. Girl, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of turn. You just struck a chord in me. I love that. <laughs> Blaine! Yep. What do you think? I already know the answer, and it's not gonna happen. I mean, no. here's the thing. Uh, like, my, my son's got a girlfriend. Okay. And she lives out of state, and she came and visited for a weekend last summer. Okay. Are they She's, staying in the same? No. Okay. We have a guest room. <laughs> Just, what if not, you don't have that guest room? Is somebody sleeping on the couch? Someone's sleeping on a couch. Yeah. Is that you? That would be, no, no it would be him. <laughs> yeah, him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm the king. I know that's Dad's right. Dad's in the king size bed. <laughs> yeah. Every night. I think it depends on the nature of the relationship. Okay. So if you're talking about a 35 year old child. That's different. Who's That's been different. in a relationship right. for sure. a while. You it, know, I don't shouldn't know there be it. a 35 year old child living at home at no, all? No, living at home, they might be coming home to can. visit. They or might they might be, be oh. in between yeah. places. Okay, right. yeah, okay. that's, right. gotcha. that's right. not fair. There are right. a lot of people who, you know, they might be in the process of buying a home. I know right. a lot of mature people <laughs> who had to go stay home for a few months. Yeah. Kim was like, what are you doing back at mom and dad's house? <laughs> like 35. Yeah, Kim, was, like, Kim, was, like, Kim was about 20. to put you, in your, put you all in your place. That was awesome. Okay. Okay. But uh, here's the question, though. Let's say, like, for your daughter, okay. she has a boyfriend. Yeah. And so they're not, they're not sharing the same room or anything. Right. What about for your son? Does it matter the, the gender? Sex? Oh, this is Be where you guys girl. always try to get me. <laughs> I see what you're doing. We got two girls hosting today. So. Your daughter's watching. The right. same <laughs> rules apply to both. Okay. The same okay. rules that's apply to both. That, no, that's, that's really it. I okay. mean, really, yeah. I swear to God. See, I have three <laughs> brothers, and I'm always like with my mom and dad, I'm like, you never did that for Kyle, Brian, or Eric. And like, <laughs> but like, what's different? But it, it is, I mean, let's be honest. Traditionally, the boys, the brothers, the male cousins, and so on, got away with a lot more oh, right, than definitely. any girl you know was getting away with. Way, with much more than I did. Absolutely. My, so, I'm the, okay, I'm the youngest of four. There's two girls, two boys, right? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I did get away with that. <laughs> 
Never mind. I was going to make a point. And he was the youngest. Come on. And, and he was the youngest. I mean, they were Come barely on. there. Let's be honest. Yeah, but so how would you handle it with your son? Would it be different? Would you be a little bit more easy? Be easy? honest. Uh, no. I no. Wouldn't. I mean, I'm a feminist, so I definitely am not <laughs> engaging in gender uh, bias okay. uh, on behalf of men. No, I love it. I love it. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. being here. I love right. this rest of the vibe.